KOR okay, Sports here with uh, Hector Zapari with uh, training uh, Zulu Ramirez. Uh, here, some good sparring men here at Wildcard West. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, the, rock. the Rock Gym. Yeah, we we're just thinking Wildcard West from uh, today, earlier today. But uh, yeah, man, you guys uh, got some good rounds with um, with Slava, a big, big light heavyweight man. Tell us about that. Yeah, we uh, every time that we came to Rock, we we get a very good sparring here. Yeah. That's one of the reasons that we like to come here. Mm. Uh, Slava is a very solid, very strong fighter, mm -hmm. you know, a smart, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was, it's great, it's good, very good for Gilberto. Mm -hmm. Gilberto is going with, with an um, Ukrainian fighter, mm -hmm. so Slava is in Ukrainian as well. That's a perfect uh, kind of mirror, right, because it's that, that Eastern European style uh, that, that Slava brings. Obviously, that's kind of what you're looking for in, in your next opponent, right? Yes, yes, uh, uh, that's what we're looking for, you know, for the, uh, the right sparring, you know, for, for uh, good performance for Gilberto and mm -hmm. April 26th. He uh, is coming off of the, the hand injury. He hasn't fought um, since that happened. A lot of fighters, uh, once they come off an injury, they're a little tentative at first because they're a little worried what it's going to look like, kind of inspiring. Have you seen any of that inspiring? Or, and, and how do you combat that? How do you kind of build his confidence back up to know that, that he's good? Well, uh, at the beginning, uh, you know, he was like, uh, uh, you know, the first couple of days, he was not very confident, but nowadays he, his confidence is back. Gilberto, mm -hmm. uh, he's punching a, a, a you know, like a very solid, strong uh, punches mm -hmm. in the mids, in the heavy bag and sparring. So he feel uh, he feel good. He feel very confident about the, about the punch. He, mm -hmm. he feel much better than before. It's a, a I believe it's going to be a whole year layoff, right? By the time he finally gets in the ring, is 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 that a concern at all? How do you kind of keep keep his um, you know like avoid ring rust, I guess. Well, yeah, it's going to be a year, you know, he, Gilberto had like uh, around eight months, name, uh, eight months with, with no sparring. He was working uh, in Mazatlan, strength conditioning, swimming in the open, mm. in the open water, uh, boxing school, the gym. And, uh, but no sparring, so what, what was one, one of the reasons that we came here to Southern California, because in Mexico it's very difficult to find uh, a sparring partner for Gilberto because of the weight division. Mm -hmm. So Mexico is a very good sparring partner, but you know, lightweights, uh, you know, like uh, the minimum weights, but in the super middle weights, it's very hard. So one of the reasons that we come here. And, um, well, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's taking the, the rhythm in the game, you know, a little by little, and uh, uh, and more close is, is the fight, much better is it, full suit is going to be. Your fight, he's fighting in a, in a great division in 168. It's getting definitely a lot hotter, obviously. De Gale um, had that draw with Badu. Um, the, obviously, the biggest fight that's going to be in the division, Canelo versus Chavez. Uh, first, just just uh, as, a, as a great boxing man, I want to ask you, look, what do you think about that fight, Ch uh, Canelo versus Chavez? How do you think that goes? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting fight for the fans. You know, like uh, Canelo is a very strong fighter. Chavez uh, is a strong fighter also. But I believe Canelo is going to be much better than Knight because he's going to be stronger. So 164.5 for Chavez, I don't know. Maybe he can make the way, but I don't I don't know. Who knows if he's gonna recover. It's not made the way, the recovery. Mm -hmm. So let's see how he recovers. If he recovers good, I believe he's gonna bring a, a, a good show uh, that night. But uh, you know, I, um, I think Canelo is, is, is gonna win the fight. Do you feel like, I believe it's a million a, a pound if, if Chavez is over he has to pay a penalty of a million dollars do you feel that maybe giving up a pound or two obviously one million two million dollars is a whole lot of money but if you feel like you could come in and you feel healthier I mean if you're at a point where you just can't lose weight anymore do you feel that that maybe that'd be worth it still to kind of give up the two million just to come in a, a little healthier and feel better well, uh, I believe he, he he made that agreement because he's confident that he's gonna make the weight. I mean, uh, uh, it's not it's not like I say it's not about the weight to make the weight, about recovering. I mean, uh, one million, two million is a lot of money, you know. Yeah. Like I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if he doesn't have option, maybe to give a, a couple pounds, yeah. just pay a couple millions. He, I mean, if he doesn't have option, he, he's gonna do it, but. Uh, I think uh, Chavez and his team, uh, they're uh, confident and they're doing a good nutrition to make the weight. 
So uh, I, I believe it's not going to be a problem with him, you know? But, oh, yeah, I talked to, uh, to Bob Arum yesterday. He is very confident he wants uh, Zuto to fight in April, wants him again to fight in uh, June, I believe you said, or July. Uh, and then he's looking at, at Triple G. Is, is that a fight when you, when you watch Triple G? Are you kind of already as a trainer kind of studying things he does, things like that, kind of see him as a, a definite future opponent for Zuto? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I've been looking Triple G since a long time ago because of a fighter that I like. Mm -hmm. I like his style. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, a very, he's, a, he's a friend of ours. We've been in a camp with him once. Mm -hmm. The first time that we came to the United States, we, we made a, a training camp in Big Bear. So mm -hmm. we shared the camp with Triple G. And he really was motivated because in that time, Triple G was, you know, really very known by the mm -hmm. fans. And um, I know that he works very really hard. Uh, and, uh, and everything like that, but Gilberto has, uh, has, has the tools, has the size, has the footwork, and uh, you know, he's a very smart fighter. He has, he's a big fighter, he has everything to be Triple E. Of course, it's a fight that we're looking for, you know, it's a fight that we're looking for, you know, uh, by the end of this year or whatever it comes, mm -hmm. but, you know, but first, uh, first we had this compromise in the April 22nd with Mark Busak and uh, we like to respect the opponents, and uh, and uh, we don't have anything else right now in mind. Only much booster and after that, so we'll see. You know? uh, you said they were in camp together, sharing. You guys were sharing the, the same gym. Did they do any sparring together at all? And, and how did those those sparring sessions go? If they did? No, they don't because oh. uh, Chipriji was fighting with a right-hander, oh. so that that's why. But we were there, you know. Mm -hmm. We we saw him do sparring. He saw Sue do sparring. The, the friends, you know. Mm -hmm. But this is boxing. You know, mm -hmm. it's a, a healthy competition and. A, and this is a sport. This is the beautiful thing about a sport, you know. Once they're in the ring, they're not friends, but you know, just outside the ring, they're friends. I mean, but like I said, this is could be a really interesting fight, a very good fight for the fans, you know, to see Triple U fighting 168 and see what, what he can do and see Gilberto uh, uh, to using his skills, you know, to see what he can do with Triple U. It's a very, very good fight. I believe that fight should happen soon. You know, I, I was thinking while you guys were sparring, it made me think, obviously, everyone always talks about when uh, they're fighting a southpaw, it's difficult because you don't see a lot of southpaws that often in the amateurs and the pros, they're, they're kind of rare. But it made me think for sparring for you guys, is it difficult? Obviously, you said in Mexico it's difficult, but even kind of being here because you have to kind of find someone that's possibly sparring a, a, a southpaw or someone that just kind of wants to give you work, right? Is it difficult, even more difficult, just the fact that Zulo is a southpaw, trying to find him sparring? Well, sometimes it is, but... Uh but you know, fighters, the good fighters, they always want to spar with, you know, with quality fighters, good fighters. It's, yeah. a, it's a very good learning for both. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes we, ha we have a, you know, a hard time, but it's very rare. Almost mm -hmm. all the time, uh, fighters, they're, you know, uh, they're happy to spar with Iberto. And, and, and some of the time we hire fighters also, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Hey, Hector, I appreciate the time, man. Best of luck to you guys on April 22nd. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate Thank you. it.